Professionals in any career field must use a method of documenting work. While engaged in advanced career curricula, students use professional notebooks mirroring the methods professionals use in the field. Share those results from that test with us. The purpose of this video is an overview for AC teachers on how to introduce and use the professional notebook. You guys as a team have to present this later on at the end of the project, right? And you're going to have to propose either fuel cells or rechargeable batteries for a fleet of electric vehicles. And this type of data, the data that you're taking today, the data you've taken the other three days, that's what's going to help you determine what your proposal is going to be. Inventors, scientists, artists, writers, and other great thought leaders have been using notebooks to record ideas, experiments, sketches, and notes for hundreds of years. 1.5 minute second long. The primary purpose is providing a record of the owner's work, computations, research, testing data, and ideas pertaining to a specific project or subject in one place that is easily accessed by the owner. Additionally, when authors write entries according to specific engineering standards, the notebook may be legally valid when applying for an invention patent or defending ownership of intellectual property. Then it was 2.1. These are called our engineering notebooks, and we're basically writing down the data that we collect. So, like Adula said, we're writing down the engine power and the speed and the load and everything for each one of these trials that we pause on. This way we can graph it later on. AC students use the required professional notebooks daily to document their products and processes, barriers, solutions, failures, and success over time, to organize their work, to write daily reflections to solidify their understanding, to record research findings, technical vocabulary, and document sources, to self-assess, and to communicate understanding and progress with the AC teacher. What did you guys figure out as a team from your line graphs? So from the line graphs, we could see that the, as the load decreases, the voltage and the speed increase. Every time we do a project, we gotta write data down. What's the stuff we use? How do we use it? Like, how do we set it up? You can have a whole bunch of data at the end of the day, but sometimes the data doesn't mean a lot to us until we turn it into a what, Isaac? Graph. Yeah. The AC teacher assigns the notebook as a major project deliverable. The teacher determines if the notebook will be paper, electronic, or a combination of both based on what students encounter in the career field and the most practical solution for the AC students. Traditionally, engineers use a bound paper notebook to serve as a legal document for recording ideas, designs, calculations, observations, questions and answers, meeting or class notes, and as a record for interaction with others. This also serves as a method for proving ownership or authenticity of an invention. Since the health informatics is a blend of social sciences, medicine, and technology, AC health informatics students complete an AC research notebook. Many industries are changing from paper notebooks to the use of electronic notebooks. There are several advantages to electronic notebooks. Modern collaboration tools allow the workers to keep records in a secure, common location for collaboration with other professionals. The electronic method may increase productivity and reduces the likelihood of losing the notebook. The AC teacher considers student computer access after hours and the availability of student electronic storage systems, such as cloud services, to inform this decision. Begin each new subject with a new page or document. If using a paper notebook, sign and date each entry and cross out errors with one line rather than blacking out entries. If there are any blank spaces, mark through the section. If the author glues or tapes a paper to any page, sign over the paper and the notebook page. If using an electronic notebook, use electronic tools to sign and date stamp each page. Scan or photograph paper documents and upload to the electronic notebook. Some teachers use a hybrid method of requiring a bound paper notebook for notes and processes, but require students to keep a three-ring paper binder for handouts and other paper documents, 
or cloud-based binder for electronic documents. At the end of each day, students summarize their work to solidify understanding. We have these lines between every um, thing we do each day or each section. This like divides it, makes it easier for us to look at it, and same thing. So he gives us basically a grade for every time we do this. And this is not even just for the grade, this just makes us simpler and like more organized person in reality. AC students use the research section of the notebook. Each time students interact with information, such as reading, listening to a lecture, or watching a media presentation, students record the information in their notebooks. So we need the data that we, we wrote down to, write, to put it in that report so we can show what we did and what we didn't do. When researching, write the reference information using APA style at the top of the page. Use a separate page or document for each reference. Anything from trial one that you can see looking at the data? Keeping good research notes will improve the quality of students' written texts. Students who write every day will find writing the final written text much easier. Grading does not have to be complicated or time-consuming. This can be over-the-shoulder written feedback when a teacher reviews a notebook entry during class time, or it might also be in small group discussions or team meetings. Sometimes the AC teacher collaborates with an academic teacher regarding notebook implementation. Students ask their academic teachers to initial the notebooks to communicate student participation in academic content in AC coursework. The teacher may increase homeschool connections by requesting parent or guardian initials on major notebook right. entries. At the end of the project, the teacher collects students' notebooks and reviews the content using the AC Professional Notebook Rubric. The teacher might allow students to mark three to five passages for grading, and the teacher may select the same number of random pages for grading. The teacher does not score for spelling, grammar, or other mechanics, nor does the teacher score private musings, drawings, or other methods of students making sense of content. So you had one set of data that really gave you a conclusive difference where you could say, yeah, this technology is far superior. The focus of the professional notebook is for students to organize their work and develop habits of mind professionals use in the field.